Am I in the shot? Yeah. Hi, I'm Kevin. And this is Phil. Welcome to Pretty Good Cooking. Today we are making standard issue stew. Over a fire with a very large four gallon Dutch oven. <laughs> Brought to you by our Patreon supporters. <laughs> well, since we're outside, we're gonna chop things outside. It's a nice day. All right, well, you gotta peel some potatoes. That's how you make a stew. <laughs> I'm gonna peel this right now. Whoa. I'm chopping some mushrooms. If you don't like mushrooms, you can frig off. These are criminal mushrooms, about a half a pound. In quarters, see? I recommend having a couple of buckets on hand to hold ingredients. Like a beer in the sun. It's me. I cut my thumb while talking to Rain, but Court patched me up with some packing tape. I'm ready to ship. How do you feel about what you've done? Great. I mean, hor horrible. Okay, mushrooms are done. A bucket in every recipe. That's the new PGC motto. That's one of the advantages of using cutting board covers, is you can fold them to four things. I got some carrots here. I don't know if I'm gonna peel them. No. Yeah. You don't need to peel carrots for stew. That's for... You don't need to peel That's potatoes. for losers. I didn't have lunch today. And here's the sun-aged beef. Aged in the sun for 10 minutes. Put them in a bucket with the mushroom. These are peeled garlic packs. Blast from the past. Remember these viewers at home? We used them in some other recipe. I don't remember which one. You could take your garlic packs and just put them in there. That's how you make a stew. Oh golly, that tomato looks weird. <laughs> Worst tomato I've ever seen. Oh shit. Describe how you're chopping them, Kevin. With a knife. I think my bandage is no longer sanitary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chopping the beef into cubes. Pioneers used to chop these for miles. Alrighty, we got our uh, 16 quart Dutch oven here. We're gonna get it heated up over the fire. And if it's not central, well, oh well. This is nice. Just, just for everyone's frame of reference, this setup is not ideal. We're way too close to the fire, but that's okay. It's just an experiment. Put in some butter. Cook your butter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm never cooking again unless it's like this. We're gonna cook some beef. Let's put a piece to test it. It could be hotter. Yeah, we'll just throw it in. It's hotter on that side. You're right. Here's our three pounds of beef. Yeah. This is the next level cooking. Salt your beef. You can salt this with this box without even opening it. Also some pepper. Get on in there, you pepper. I'm gonna teach you how to clean out your bucket outside. Get in a garden hose and turn it on and wash those potato, potato peels away. Look at that, good as new. Nice, nice. When your beef is seared, put it in your bucket. Look at that nice color, wow. If you want an extra sear, put it in the fire. I'm just kidding, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> Are you filming? Oh, hi everyone. I drank too much whiskey. All right, next up, a bag of pearled onions. Cook them in the beef and the butter makes them taste better. I'm also going to put in the carrots, mushrooms, and garlics. Once your stew vegetables are looking roasty toasty, add a bottle of wine. A red blend. Kumbaya. And let that come to a boil so the alcohol can cook off. Oh, smell that. Uh, yes. Next, we add potatoes. Here's the beef. Here we have a poultry herb blend, but we're not using it for poultry. It's, it's uh, sage, rosemary, and thyme, like the song. Here you guys put it in. You need water for your stew. That seems like a fine amount. Incorporate, and then we can put a lid on it, really. Yay. We might want to do this uncovered at a certain point. Yeah. All right, it's cooking. <laughs> Hey! Here's a stew update. It's looking good. Just needs a little salt. Why is it leaning like that? This is gonna be the best oh, stew. So it just needs to be balanced. It's fine. Ta -da. I'm taking the stew off the fire because it's done. Hell to the yeah. Why did we do it? Why did we do this? We did the few. Let's try the stew. Wow. 
Looks very good. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Here you go, Kevin. Take this. Why, thank you. Thank you again. Good. It's delicious. Yeah. That's how you do it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs>